Hi you guys! I am here today with my friend Malia. Hi! From the YouTube channel, The Malia Show. Malia Show. Yay, I'm so excited. So if you guys haven't heard of Malia, she is huge. She's a big deal. Oh, you are too kind. She is. And I'm like, I'm so excited to do a collab video because I, I don't think I've even done like a collab video with somebody. Oh, here. really? Like oh. sitting in my room. So you're like the first one. Oh, so I'm like super cool. This is a big deal. Yeah. Yay. Really okay, cool. So Malia had the great idea for our video today and I'm really excited about it. Do you want to tell us about it? Oh yeah. So I always have moms asking me, what can I put in an Easter basket that's not candy or mm -hmm. chocolate or all of that stuff? <laughs> because let's be honest, you either have too much candy and it just goes in a bowl or you throw it away or your kids do eat all of it and then you have cavities or yep. sugar crazy highs. That's so true. So, and besides, I'd rather have things that I can like have my kids play with or use over and over again. So today's video is all about the non-candy items you can put in your Easter basket. And I'm really excited about this because like she said, if you give your kids a lot of candy, a lot of times I end up eating it. Yes. Like I end up gaining the calories and the pounds and all that. So we're each going to share a few different items that we think would be a great idea to put in an Easter basket. But we are also going to be doing more products and more um, ideas over on her channel. So I will have her channel linked right here for you guys and it will also be linked down below. So yes. make sure you guys go and subscribe to her. It'd be really awesome. Thanks. Did, okay. We're going to split it in half. So you'll get half of the good ideas here and then half the good ideas on my channel and then and it'll be awesome. It'll be perfect. Yes. Okay, let's get started. Do you want to go first? Oh, sure. I think we bought all of our stuff at Target. We yeah. both didn't know that, but we both went to Target. Yes. Yes. Because Target or Target is we like love the best Target. place in the world. <laughs> okay, so these I actually got in the dollar spot. They were $3 though, and they're matching card games, but they come in these little small cubes instead of the huge boxes. So there are a lot to choose from. So this is obviously the Disney Junior one, Marvel, they had Star Wars, they have Disney Princesses, they had Frozen. So, and they were three bucks, and my kids have actually already played with a different version, but I bought these for here for you guys. Um, so those are really cool and easy to put in an Easter basket. I love this. So the dollar section, you're gonna notice a lot of the stuff yes. is from the dollar section because they have amazing stuff. Yes, and a lot of times it's like three dollars. Well, yeah, and I think we picked like the like the good quality dollar stuff because sometimes yeah. there's like junk in there and I'm like, don't buy that. Like your no, kids will play for like 10 seconds and then you'll just throw it away. Yeah. We don't want to do that. That just wastes money. We found you guys some quality. Yes. Like, okay. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about was using an actual bucket like this, a sand bucket, instead of an Easter basket because this Genius. is like reusable and it still has the same function and they can play with this. You're not just throwing away a worker basket yeah. or it just doesn't last very long. So there are tons of different options. Some have like more attachments on it, but this mm -hmm. one was really cheap. I think it was three bucks. It's such a great idea because I always get the felt ones and they always rip. So I have to yeah. get another one the next year, but that's something that can Or use the products you put in are too heavy and then it's like falling apart. Like falling like, over. They're like yeah. falling over because it's like lopsided. <laughs> yeah. No, that is so great. Okay, so the next one I thought of was the microwave popcorn and just a little pouch to put in each basket because you can actually print off a red box code, mm. which is obviously a dollar or a dollar fifty yeah. depending on where you're at. You can just tape it on there or staple it, whatever. And you can have a movie night with like that's each totally kid fun. individually or just do one movie night with everyone. I don't know. And that's like a cheap, cheap thing to do and add to an Easter basket. That would be fun. Great activity too. Yes. Bonding. Bonding time. Yes. Okay. And then the last one that I have are these super cool light up. Those are so rad. I love those. They're light up jump ropes ah. guys. Like so cool. I think these were $6 if I remember right. And they're just in their outdoor section. I didn't even know they lit up and my little boy was like, mom, but they light up. And I was like, oh, well, geez, we need to get them then. Those need to So, have. yeah, just something fun for them to do outside. Because the weather's getting good. It's getting really nice. Yeah. Those are such great ideas. Okay, I have a couple of ideas over here as well. First one is just like a classic, and this was also just in the dollar section. I think mm -hmm. it was a dollar. It really was a dollar. It's just chalk, and it has a cute little Easter bunny. They always have everything like super themed. So I thought that was cute. Also, I have a sippy cup. This was $3.99, but I think it's cute because it's like an Easter egg. Well, and you still have a baby, so I don't have a baby, yeah. so I didn't even think of that. So yeah. I'm glad that you grabbed some stuff. Yes, and I think that's what's good about this is we have a good array of like girl, boy, mm -hmm. older, younger. Yes. You'll see that in her video. By yes. Way. <laughs> oh, I thought this was cute. Also, yeah, for babies. Obviously not for bigger kids. We actually both picked this next one out because mm -hmm. we think alike. Yes. Fun string. This is like super cheap. I think this was in the dollar section as well, wasn't it? Did you see? Well, I no, at the dollar, dollar store, you can buy That's individual awesome. cans for a dollar, which is we buy like 20 of them yeah. for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And That's Christmas Eve, yeah. we go and we like attack each other outside. That is so great. But you can buy these cheaper at the dollar store and... Make sure you do it outside because it sticks to everything. That's what I was just gonna say. Yes. This has to happen outside. This yes. cannot happen.
open inside with like a rug, okay? Yes. But that's a really great idea. Mm -hmm. Another thing, I got these. These are actually some of the presents I'm getting for my boys. Bubbles. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with bubbles. Yeah. Really inexpensive. Fun well. for days. Fun for days. Mm -hmm. And then I got these, and these look kind of messy. They kind of remind me of GAC, but it's a really, really cool texture. Yeah. They scare me just a little bit, because I was like, well, like, that looks way too messy. I'm not okay, but she's way I'm like, this is it. only going to happen on the kitchen <laughs> counter. Yes. Because, but it's cool. It's called Planet Putty, and my boys are really into space and to mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, so I thought that they would find that interesting. And then last but not least, I always, every year, get my kids a Dr. Seuss book. Mm -hmm. And these were on sale at Target for $5. Yes, because Dr. Seuss's birthday was last week. Yes, so, so. they always do it to celebrate every year. Yes. So these are ones that we do not have. He has so many. I didn't realize how many he yeah, has. Yeah, you've never even heard of, and you're like, why have I 10 apples this? on top, like what is this? Yeah. I don't know. But, so those are my ideas. All right, so that is it for our ideas that are non-candy Easter egg basket ideas. I think we yes. have some, a good array. Yes, <laughs> totally. And we have more over on Malia's channel, so I will have that link down below for you guys. And also, don't forget to subscribe to her. She's amazing. Her channel Sweet. is great. I was just telling her, I was like, I wish I was as good as you when I first started YouTube. <laughs> oh, you're so and she's seriously too nice. I didn't, even, I didn't even mention she has this amazing blog that she's been doing for how many years now? Six and a half, and she's a big deal in the blogging world. Time. So for her to come into the YouTube world, I'm like really excited for you. Well, I think you're just gonna hit it big. You are so nice. <laughs> the YouTube world is so different than blogging that I kind of feel like just totally out of place. No, you. So it's, um, but it's lots of fun. And let's talk about um, giving away stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so we are gonna give away all the things that we're well, not all, almost all, because we're keeping just a few things for our own kids. Yeah. But <laughs> almost all of the stuff we are giving away. So should we have one winner or two winners? Let's do two winners. Okay, two not? winners. Okay, so all you need to do is leave a comment below in the YouTube section and list something that is non-candy. Yeah. Um, so Good all idea. of us moms can come up with a bunch more ideas than just what we've come up with. I love that. That's all you do is leave a comment below and you can do it on Michelle's channel and you can do it on mine. So you technically could get two entries. Two. Yay. And then we'll pick two winners and We'll have to draw those super fast so you yeah. guys can get get them in time. Yeah, so we can mail them to you fast enough, but we'll let Perfect. you guys know in the description section when it ends. Sound good? Perfect. Sounds good to me. Okay, cool. All right, thanks you guys so much for watching. Thanks. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.